Okay, welcome to today engineering drawing class. Today we are going to solve one problem in perspective view, right? So the problem is a square prism of base 25 cross 25 millimeter and height 40 mm is resting on GP ground plane on its square base with a right side rectangular face making 60 degree with PP. One condition is given in for the initial orientation for the solid. The corner nearest to the corner uh, PP is 40 mm to left of the station point and 20 mm behind PP. The nearest corner is 40 mm uh, left of the station point, right? And 20 mm behind the PP. Now, the station point is 60 mm above GP and 50 mm in front of PP. Draw the perspective view. So, I have quickly solved this problem. Then, we will have the exam after solving this particular problem, right? Okay? So, now, we are going to draw the <coughs> top view first. Already, I told the, the steps. So, first to draw the PP line. Before we start, first you need to draw the PP line. So, this line is going to be my PP line, right? So, I will extend to some part. I will extend like this. This is my PP line, picture plane. <coughs> and I am going to draw one crown line. <coughs> now, we use this distance, 50 mm in front of PP and 60 mm, 50 plus 60 one term adding plus 20 so leave 130 millimeter and you need to draw one parallel line right this is i called as what this is i called as what this bottom line is i called as what crown line it is parallel to pp and leaving at least 130 millimeter and <coughs> we have to draw the horizontal line that is 60 mm above GP. From GL, you can measure some 60 millimeter, right? Right. Then you need to draw this particular line. This is horizontal line. So, first step is you need to draw PP line. Then, second is crown line. And third is HL. The distance between HL and the GL is Already we know that this is 60 millimeter above ground. Distance between PP and the GL is more than 60 plus. <coughs> it should be greater than 50 plus 60. So I kept 130 millimeter. Next we are going to draw the top view first. Because it is a square prism. It is given one of the right angle, right side Rectangular face making 60 degree with PP. The corner nearest to this is 20 mm behind PP. So from PP, you mark one 20 millimeter point. This is one corner point. Now you draw one. <coughs> what is the distance? A 60 degree inclination. Here only your one side of the prism will come. Right? I will mark here like this. Then I am going to. This is 20 millimeter, right? Begin PP, I draw one square for 60 degree inclination. This angle is going to be 60 degree. So, right side it is rigid. Now, you can take the same 25 cross 25. I need to complete this top view. I need to complete the top view of this square prism. This is my top view. This is my top view of the square prism. Okay. First step I have done. I have completed the top view of the square prism. And I am going to give the name, right? For example, this point I will call as A, B, C and D. So we have edge uh, prism, we have two edges. This is A and this is A1. B, B1. Like that way we have this, right? So, I turn the top view of this particular place. <coughs> now, I am going to look at the station point. The station point is 
40 the corner nearest to the uh, pp is 40 mm to the left of the station point so this is the corner from which right side i am going to mark on 40 mm distance from here so this distance already it is given as 20 mm it is given as 20 mm right side here you need to mark here this this distance is going to be 40 mm then you need to draw a vertical line this is my CP line. Now this distance is going to be 40 millimeter. Right? This is right side 40 millimeter CP. In the CP line, now using the data, the station point is 50 mm in front of PP. So from PP line, we need to mark one point here. 50 millimeter. This distance is 50 millimeter. In front of EP, I am going to mark one point. This point I called as E. E is station point. Top view of station point. I located station point for which we need two information. One is the from this corner point, right side I keep 40 millimeter and draw one vertical line. And from in front of EP, I kept uh, 50 millimeter in front of EP. Right. After this, I am going to draw the E dash point. E dash point is already, it is given as station point is 60 mm above GP. So in the same CP line, I am going to mark this point E dash. It is 60 mm above ground line. Now I am going to draw the front view, right? Front view for this. So I will draw the vertical projection from this particular solid. It is to be projected up to GL line. Right? I am going to draw this vertical line for in order to get the front view of this particular prism. Because we are following third angle projections. So first draw the top view above PP. Then now I, we are going to draw the front view. Here we use the method front view and the top view methods. Because it is a square prism, we have only four to 4 plus 4, 8 points. So, now the height of the solid is 40 millimeter from the uh, ground line. I am going to mark on 40 millimeter line. This is 40 millimeter. This is actually the front view of our solid. This is going to be the front view of the solid. Here, all the edges are visible. 1, 2, 3. Only this edge is not visible. So that's edge I will draw as draw as starter line. This vertical edge is not visible while viewing from here, from PP or observer side, because observer this side. So this is my front view. Here the height of this particular prism is 40 millimeter. So the dimensions you must put, right? Okay. Now we marked the, uh, drawn the top view, uh, front view E and E dash. Now I am going to joining this E point, station point, top view point with the prism in order to get the piercing points for which we need to draw the projection line, projectors from these points, right? I got the first point. This is I called as D1. I called as what? D1. Then we need to join A with the E. A with the E. That point I call this what? This is A1. A1. And from C, I need to join with the, A, uh, with the station point E. Right? This is the station point. Now the meeting point, this point is I will call C1. These are the piercing points. Now we need to connect B and E. B and E. It will pierce at PP line. These are the piercing point or intersecting point. We call this B1. So I want to mark these four points. D1, A1, C1, B1. These are we call as piercing points. Right? Similarly, I need to join this top and the bottom surface with E dash. Already we know that this is D1 dash. Similarly, you can mark this is 
C1 dash, sorry, A1 dash. This is C1 dash, this is A1 dash, this is B1 dash. Here you put D1, C1, A1 and B1. Right? Now we need to join these points. Right? So I will call this, this is T2 dash, uh, C2 dash, A2 dash, B2 dash. This is again T1 dash. C1 dash, A1 dash, B1 dash. First join this, the station point in front view with the top surface. I will need to draw here. Slowly you need to draw these lines. Connect all the points. The top surface of this square prism. We need to draw. Right? I connect. Similarly, I need to connect the bottom points with this E dash. Right? Now, this is we call this visual ray points, visual rays. This visual rays we need to connect. I draw. So, now we need, we can have these points. These, what points? We have piercing points. These piercing points one by one you need to draw or erect vertically downwards. First I will take this D1 point, draw vertical line from this point. This is very important thing and I need to mark two points here because here the vertical, this T2 dash, T1 dash, right? This point I am going to mark in this particular place. This is I call this D2 and here I call this D1. So I mark the two point on this particular line, right? Similarly, from A1, I need to draw another vertical line and up to this visual rays, you need to draw and mark these points, right? This is A1 point, right? Where we want to mark, this is A1 line here, right? This is my a1, right, 1, 2, 3rd point, right, here I will mark it as A2 and this is my A1, A1 and from this C1 point I need to draw vertically downwards and the, we got the two meeting points here in this C line, this is the second line, so I call this capital C2 and here the C line meets here. This is my C1. C1, C2. Then finally you go with the B1. I'm sorry, B1 point. From, draw this vertical line. Right? So, here it meets at this B point intersection at here. This is my B2. And this is my B1. B1, B2. Now I got four points on top and four points on bottom. So top points I need to join A and D. This is my A point and D point. We need to join by thick line. And D and C. This point I need to join. And join B and C. This point. Then I join B and A. This is my A point. So what I get? Top surface of square prism is I got. Similarly, the bottom surface connect A and D. This is my bottom. Then outer surface A and B. We need to connect A and B. And the B and C will be in inside. So I need to draw a dot line. And C and D also I need to connect by dot line. Now draw the vertical edges, D1, T2 is connected by thick line and A1 and A2 we connect another vertical edge and C1 and C2 by dot line because this edge is back side and B1 and B2 we need to draw. Finally we, I got this particular perspective view, right? So we need to identify here this is my perspective view. So 
This is A2, B2, C2, D2, top surface. A1, B1, this is C1, C1, D1, this is the bottom surface. We need to join all these points by right vertical lines. So I will mark here in golden way, in left, this color also for your understanding. This is our required perspective view for this particular problem. Perspective view for this particular problem. Some inside portions are we need to draw as tartar layer. This yellow color is our perspective. So quickly I will explain the review. Here quick review for this particular problem. First you need to read the problem two times and understand this is the square prism of side 25 25 height is 40. It is resting on GP and square with right side rectangular base making right side rectangular base is 60 degree that is given. The corner nearest to the PP is 40 mm to the left of the station point and 25 mm, 20 mm behind the PP. Right? The station point is 60 mm above GP and 50 mm in front of PP. Carefully you read the information then you can start. So first step you draw the PP line then you draw the GL line. The distance between PP and the GL should be more than 50 plus 60 plus adding plus 120 millimeters. Uh, approximately 130 millimeters. Right? From GL you draw one parallel line for indicating HL horizontal line. It should be 60 mm above ground. Right? Then you draw the top view of this square prism by keeping one of the side is behind 20 millimeter and it should be 60 degree width. Uh, right side is 60 degree. So you need to mark this. This is my top view of the square prism. Right? Then you give the points at A, B, C, D like this. Then you draw the corresponding front view. You draw the vertical line and you take this height as 40 millimeter. You need to complete. This is my top um, front view of this particular square prism. Next step is you need to locate station point E and E dash. It will pass through the CP line, central plane. So central plane distance is given from the nearest corner. It should be 40 millimeter right side. Or the nearest corner is left of the CP 40 millimeter. So for which we take it from here 40 millimeter you draw one vertical line. In that line you need to mark E because 50 mm in front of PP. So you, this is the station point top view point E. And from the uh, above uh, crown plane it is given 60 mm. So from GL you mark this E dash point on CP. This is the E is the Top view of station point, E dash is the front view of the station point. We have completed these things. Now we are going to connect this E with the all corners of this square prism and it will meet at PP, picture plane at some points. That point is marked as fear sink points. Again we need to join this E dash <coughs> point with the top corner of the prism and the bottom corners of this prism. We draw this visual ray line. Now take all one point, we need to erect the vertical lines. Uh, in single line we get two points. You need to mark corresponding two points. One represents the top portion and the other represents the bottom. You need to join the top face of the square prism and the bottom face of the square prism. Okay? Then draw the vertical edges. Vertical edges of the square prism. You need to talk. The inside portion it is not visible. You need to draw a starter line. This is our required perspective view. This is my perspective view of this particular problem. This is answer. So you need to talk this particular uh, view and you can write as perspective. Here I use top view and front view method. Top view and front view method is used for constructing here. Here we use the visual ray method. What method is used? Visual ray method. These are the things please make note for solving this problem. Okay. Thank you. Thanks for watching this video.